My name's Ricky, I'm here from Wall of Sound TV, and I'm here with Joel from Aviana, all the way from Gothenburg in Sweden. How you going, man? I'm great. We've, we've been in Australia for two weeks now, and I really enjoy this country a lot. Have you gotten over the jet lag? Uh, it took like three days, but yeah, we're, we're kind of feeling ourselves now, having a good time, enjoying the heat, because this is warm to us. I know it's autumn for you guys, but... Uh, this is summer for us, so. Yeah, so what's the deal if this is like not too cold, but you're still wearing a hoodie, what does that say about like where it's at? I'm just way too comfortable in a hoodie. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, throughout the whole day, I've been sweating a lot, but I'm, I just enjoy a good hoodie. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. and I, I really, this is, oh, I can't, well, this is. We can't advertise. No, we can't advertise, right, so, okay. but uh, yeah. It's a, it's a good company that makes good clothes, and I really enjoy their clothes, so I'm going to wear them even though it's too fucking warm. So. Well, I'm glad you're comfortable. Have you been attacked by a drop bear yet in Australia? No. <laughs> We've had so many jokes about it. Uh, and the thing is, I don't even know what they look like. So I just heard the jokes about them. <laughs> uh, but apparently there, it is a thing. Maybe when you get back to your hotel room later and it's getting late and you're oh on your own God. and you want to do some Googling. Yeah. And we'll chat about it afterwards. Okay, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll figure out what it actually is now. <laughs> so you're here for your first ever Australian tour? Yeah. How's it been so far? It's been surprisingly good because, you know, coming from Sweden, only touring Europe for the most part, uh, going to the other side of the globe is extremely weird to us that people actually listen to us and you know attend the shows to see us so uh, we're extremely grateful to see what's happening over here and we're super excited to come back and when you look out in the crowd and you um, playing your music to Aussie fans um, are you seeing them kind of sing back the lyrics to you and yes. stuff that's so, good. so surreal every time like we're used to that now in Europe again we toured there so much so like we know that people learn the songs but we're, we're like at a place we never thought we would go to like you usually go Europe America Asia maybe but Australia like not that much so having people actually knowing the songs here are that's is super cool it's got to be a really wild feeling being so far away from home and just mu mu music is so global that people just know who you are wherever yeah. you go and that's an unbelievable feeling it is um, it really is what surprised you about Australia so far that we haven't been attacked by snakes yet. <laughs> Forget the drop bears. The, yeah, 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 no, like the, the snakes and the spiders, that's what we were most afraid of. Uh, I had like a tiny spider on me the other day that I freaked out about, but uh, apparently it was just like a normal, whatever, not deadly spider. But I freaked out either way because it's, it's, yeah, we're scared. Mate, I don't know why you're scared. I've been to Gothenburg before and there's like elk over there, right? Oh, yeah. So, like, snakes, nothing compared to these big animals, right? But, I mean, like, the, if, if, you, if you meet an elk, like, you're, you're going to hear it, right? Yeah. A snake is just going to be laying there until you, like, walk past it. In my head, this is, like, what's going to happen. So Filled I'm just with gonna, venom. Yeah. So it's just going to, like, be in a bush somewhere, and it's looking super nice. So I'm just going to walk that way, and all of a sudden I'm bitten, and then I die in, like, 30 minutes. <laughs> That's, like, my version of what Australia is. But, for example, right? Just for example. Yeah, just for yeah, example. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, but no, that hasn't happened yet. So we're we're super happy that we're alive. Always a plus. Now you guys have been playing hits from your latest record, Corporation. Yep. Um, what's it like been like playing some of those songs specifically? Uh, for me personally, it's this is the first time I've ever written something uh, honest. I would say, and uh, yeah, these songs mean a lot to me. And hearing people, you know, singing them back and all of that, like it's it's really heartwarming. And yeah, it's just it's just so cool to you know ever since the old members left and all of that, uh, what we created from nothing or nothing it wasn't nothing but what we created from the like the new branding I would say uh, that worked out so well apparently because we're here <laughs> so. Paying off. Yeah, it really is. And we're, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy about what's happening with the band. Absolutely. Fantastic. And so, you know, I touched on Gothenburg before. I've been there personally myself. Um, we had a chat to In Flames only a couple of weeks ago for NotFest Australia. We've got a strong affinity to, you know, mellow death and Swedish melodic death yeah. metal. So is it strange coming from Gothenburg and sort of going into the next 
kind of era of what metal is in this day and age compared to what your you know your your forefathers delivered yeah both yes and no because the thing is there there's so many talented musicians in so many different genres coming from Gothenburg um, we usually just joke about like there's something in the water over there like we, we we don't we can't control that so many talented people just come from there like the thing is I'm not from Gothenburg myself ah. I'm, I'm from a, a small town called Norrköping which is like closer to Stockholm okay so I think I can call myself uh, being from Gothenburg now since I live there for two and a half years now you had to follow the medals yeah and I like when people are like, oh, so Aviana from Gothenburg. I'm like, no, but I'll just have to move there so I can like, <laughs> actually be, you know, say that I'm from Gothenburg or the band is from Gothenburg. Uh, and has the band got support from some of those bands, like it's Soil Work and In Flames, like over the years? Not those kind of bands, I would say. Uh, I know that our friends in Imminence has been working a lot with uh, in Flames, for example, they did a tour, a Europe tour with them, and you know, there's there's been a lot of conversations around the bands, uh, but I have never heard anything personally from them in that sense. But I've met them a few times, and they're they're super super yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Anders, the vocalist, right? Yeah, yeah. He uh, was. Uh, we played some just local shows in Sweden, and he was at uh, one of those, and he was having the time of his life, and that was so much fun to see. Uh, so. They're all super sweet guys, yeah. really. They've really reverted to back to their old school sound, which yeah. has been so fantastic. I love that. Um, I really and you love mentioned that. Imminence. You guys are label mates on a rising empire. Do you guys play a lot of shows together in Europe? We, uh, we've tried so many times because uh, we're super close friends. And me and Christian, the bass player, goes way back because we had another band called Walking With Strangers uh, years ago. Um, and we've, yeah, we've tried a lot of times, but it just doesn't match up. Hasn't lined up? Ever, never like we we really want to do Europe together. We like both bands sell very good there, so we just want to have like a fun time, just relaxing. But uh, we did Sweden, uh, Stockholm, and Gothenburg shows with them, and that was mind blowing because that was like the first shows after the pandemic as well. So doing that together with close friends was super fun. But sometime soon we will we'll. we'll We'll do something you'll with have to get sure. it going yeah well we tonight to. you're playing with earth caller but also you're playing with cabal from denmark so it's like the scandinavian invasion yeah uh what, what did uh, they say about sweden they said aviana sucks yeah. we hate sweden that yeah. usual stuff yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so <laughs> so denmark is a country that is made up it doesn't exist for real life uh no they are the sweetest guys ever we've we've been close to cabal on different occasions, but we've never really actually, you know, hung out with them. So this has been the first time we felt kind of forced into it. Since they're Danish, we're Swedish. We don't like each other at all. <laughs> uh, but no, they're they're the sweetest guys ever. Bit uh, of quiet competition going on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. No, they no, they are like the sweetest guys ever. Uh, we we have such a laugh every single day with them. So uh, it's fun to have another Scandinavian band that can actually push as hard. Uh, over here because this is the first time for them as well so it's it's fun to like experience that together absolutely fantastic for you guys and fantastic for aussie fans who love all of the heavy music coming out of uh you know the scandinavian region at the moment so yeah. it's a treat for us all um now i want to ask you what we can expect for tonight now obviously our fans are going to hear this up after the australian tour ends but maybe it'll give them something to look forward to for when aviana come back to australia Oh shit! Uh, heavy breakdowns, some uh, catchy choruses, uh, maybe, maybe some. Uh, I I don't want to say too much though, because our oh. set is so much fun. Uh, we do like since we have the masked uh, members and all of that. Like we we do some fun stuff. Okay. Uh, but I don't want to give it away though, because like I want people to keep it a surprise. Like, yeah, 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 like actually enjoy it for the first time seeing it. All right. Well, maybe I won't make you give away too much. You'll have to go to an Aviana show if you want to see what it's all about, right? Yes. Awesome. Well, Joel, it's been a pleasure chatting with you here at Wall of Sound TV. We'll go get, let you go get ready and warmed up for the show. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for coming down, and um, we'll chat to you soon. Thank you so much for having me. Cheers.